say hello to the Cosceptional Hotel. Ooh, hello, Classy. Wow. Big Haunts in Cosmopolitan City says the Cosceptional comes complete with a ghost. I don't buy it. But Nick will dig this. Uh, this is Earth. You may speak if... Oh, hi, Polly. I'm at the Haunted Cosceptional Hotel. You want the tour? The Cosceptional? Wow, your guidebook is old. That ghost booked it out of there. Well, I gotta keep this line open for aliens. Bye. Huh, I've never seen the place so empty. Where is everybody? Just you wait. The ghost will return and this place will be busy again. Now stay away, you greedy banker. Make way for something new. No one likes an old-fashioned hotel like this anymore. They want something hip, like... Good day! I said good day! Oh, guests! Uh, bienvenue! Welcome! We need a room for the night? Penelope Pen? I mean pen. You will need a pen to sign the letter, uh, madame. You look familiar. Have we met here before? I used to be a regular when the place had regulars. We have uh, plenty of guests. Well, uh, uh two. And uh, I have the familiar face. Two eyes, two ears, one nose. Uh, call me uh, Maurice. <clears throat> and... Uh, um... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Oh, apologies. The rockin' bingo hall next door is quite loud and annoying <laughs> and drowning out any noise from our resident ghost. Ooh. Oh, my. Was that the ghosty I heard? Wait. I thought it wasn't haunted now. Lies. A vicious rumor. Still very, very haunted. Uh, <clears throat> enjoy the stay. Mr. Maurice may have an impeccable mustache, but he seems like a mess. Yeah, he's more ghost-obsessed than Nick. Well, you can't judge a book by its cover, and you can't judge a man by his upper lip hair. Seems like the poor fella has a lot on his mind with business being so bad. Which floor, Grandma? Oh, we're not staying in this room. That's a decoy. At the Causeptional, pocket girls stay their own way. Polly, the locket, please. Ooh. Great Grandma Priscilla built a secret getaway. Now, shrink us up. Tiny power! <laughs> Pocket paradise! This is so amazing. Wait a minute. I read that the Cosceptional ghost shrunk things. Grandma, were you the ghost? When I got the locket, going to haunted places was all the rage. So I gave the people a little show every night, and this place was packed. Genius. <sighs> that is until the locket broke, which I guess wasn't just bad for me. It was bad for business. I just wish Shawnee were here. She'd love the history. Oh, you girls have fun here and don't get into trouble. I'm going to check out Rock and Bingo. Give me a big boost, Polly. And I'll call when I'm back. Go big, Grandma! <gasps> Loving the style! Closets connected to bathrooms? That's some princess stuff. And the shampoos are huge! Whoa, bling alert! Wow, Grandma P was pocket-sized rad. Ah! <gasps> My locket! Give it back! I said king size, not mouse size. Bingo! Woohoo! That's B to the I to the N G O. Bingo is my game. Oh. <laughs> yes, the expansion will happen. The world is ready for more bingo. <laughs> Come on, 
Locket's on the line. Cosmopolitan City has small hotel rooms, but this is ridiculous. <coughs> Shh, it's the hunting. Oui. Oh, soon business shall once again be booming. Goofy <coughs> ah. Oh, yourself. Hey, get back here with my locket. Ugh. How are we gonna catch that sneaky little thief? Not a clue. But Shawnee knows about all sorts of gross stuff, like mouse. Mouses, Mises, mice! Hi, Polly! Shawnee, problem. Mouse in the house. How do we catch it? Uh, I'm sort of busy right now with my mold experiment, but speaking of mold, mice love cheese, moldy or otherwise. I tried that. Huh. I knew cheese solved everything. Come to us, Mousy Mousy. Reba can't resist cheese. Reba? Oh, yeah. I named the mouse Reba. I think it suits her. Cool. I see it. And I can see her. Reba! Everyone, check your immediate areas for signs of the ghost. Oh, cheese? Perhaps the ghost likes the fromage. Reba! Come back! The ghost! I just need a little evidence of your existence, Sivo Play. Oh, perhaps I was wrong. There is no ghosty. <laughs> Here is proof of the hunting. Lila, grab on. I shall pull back this curtain and reveal the ghost of the hotel. I'm beginning to think Reba didn't even know she had the locket. Those pedicured paws are innocent. Ah! A mouse? I can't post no ghost video if a mouse makes a guest appearance. Not even ghost goers want a mouse in their room. Ah, fake French accent? I can't believe it. You gotta go, mouse. Sorry, but I have to. With proof the ghost's back, I can pay off the bank so they can't take my hotel and turn it into the world's biggest rockin' bingo hall. World's biggest rockin' bingo hall? But this hotel is the pocket girl's home away from home. And it's Reba's home at home. We have to help Reba and save this strange dude's hotel. And to do that, we need... Wells Conspiracy, Inc. Nick. How do we sound like a ghost? Ah, I recommend the ghost Elizer 2.0 app. It's... Wait, Polly, what are you... Downloading it. Thanks, Nick. Bye! <laughs> Sacre bleu! Again, ghosty ghost! Wow, Lila. That speed texting course you took really paid off. 60 words per minute, baby. And here we go. Play! Hello, Maurice. It is me, the lady in the statue. To get your ghost proof, do as I say. First, stop using that fake French accent and give me a kiss. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you say so, ghost. <laughs> what? I had to make sure he'd really do whatever we said. Now, release the house. <sighs> Stupid autocorrect. Mouse. I meant mouse. This dirty rodent? Ah, uh, okay, fine. It's okay, you're safe with us. Record me, but don't get any closer or I will leave. Tiny power! <laughs> Business will be booming again! Maury Schneidman? I may not have recognized you, but I never forget a voice. Remember me? You were the bellboy when... <laughs> Penelope Pocket. I knew it was you the second you checked in. I just didn't want you to know it was me. Yeah, with the ghost gone, I'd try anything to get customers. Even a fake French accent. <laughs> ah, ditch the accent. What always made this place great was its authenticity. If you need a loan, I just had the best night of bingo. <laughs> ah, so soft. Nice pedicure, Reba. 
Now, indisputable proof of a real-life haunting. It's been called the shrinking ghost of Cosmopolitan City, and you might want to meet it yourself. But the Cosceptional Hotel is booked through 2063. Ugh, that's not a real haunting. That's just Polly. Reba, I'm sorry I thought you were a thief. I was really wrong to judge you just because you're a mouse. Forgive me. Reba, could you pass the cheese? Oh, I can't believe our cosmopolitan city vacation is almost over. Time flies when you're doing the bazillion things on Polly's trip list. Now there's only one thing left to do. Win a tiny boat race! Why the sudden passion of the nautical fashion? Because, Lila, the winner of this tiny boat race gets to be on the cover of Wee Boat Weekly. That's a weekly magazine? Yep. And this cover kid is the known bully Augustus Von Uberrich. He's won the Cosmopolitan City Race 10 years in a row, and he's only 10 years old. Apparently, that's how he does it. Starboard turn! Port maneuver! Disco! I think he was going for beastly and dangerous more than... Duckies! Aww. The baby ducks do exactly what the ducks in front of them do. It's like follow the leader. Uh, hey! Augustus, dominating the race, being a bad sport, and splashing the cute duckies. Ugh. That's why I built this beauty. Ooh, fancy. Glad you like it, Lila, because you'll be piloting it. What? It'll look suspicious if the boat's driving itself. You have to pretend to pilot it with the remote so I can go pocket-sized and actually drive the boat. But isn't that against the rules? Nope. It's called the Anything Goes Tiny Boat Race. Anything goes! Now, if you need to talk to me during the race, use this earbud. It's linked directly to my genie watch. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Augustus. Name's Polly Pocket, and this is the boat that's gonna finally beat you. Oh, really? Is it called the USS in your dreams? <laughs> Please, Paula. Paula? Oh, he'll know my name once my boat wins this race. Polly, winning isn't everything. Your great-grandmother is right. It's more than everything. Hey, I'm not a great-grandmother, but I am a great Comma, grandmother. Yeah, you are. And this snooty McSnooderson isn't worth my time. Which is why I'll be piloting the boat for Polly. That's right. I gotta go. Got tickets to a musical called, uh... <laughs> the Acorn King. Rumph! <laughs> Getting an employee to pilot her boat while she goes to the theater? <laughs> why didn't I think of that? Oh, poor thing doesn't stand a chance against Augustus. You're going down. Fiddlesticks! You and Paul are the ones going in a downward direction. <laughs> Time to cut the line. <laughs> <laughs> title of the race. Oh, he's destroyed every boat but Polly's. And my paper sailboat! <gasps> Save your breath, Chap. Literally. And you, pilot person, that boat will soon be toast. Joke's on you, because I love toast. Pizza cutter! There's only one thing a pizza cutter can't cut through, Lila. <laughs> Pizza crust! <laughs> Great thinking, Polly. Aw, you're my number one fan. Thanks, but I think that title belongs to your grandma. Polly's boat is number one. She knows how to get it done, win this race, and make it snappy. You can make this grandma happy! Woo! Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! Fierce! You still got your high school cheer moves, Grandma. Cheerleading is so horribly plebeian. Not a refined sport, such as fishing. 
racing right now. Can you help me find a shortcut to beat him? I'm sending you my coordinates. Let me check out the roots while the moldy monstrous is preoccupied. Wait, what's a moldy monstrous? Oh, uh, just the seemingly sentient creation of my science experiment. Here, if you can jump the island, it'll be a significant shortcut. Hey, those are my only bad cups! <gasps> is that my lip gloss? <laughs> My textbook! Oh, that is the last straw, young mold! Shawnee, are you okay? Better than okay. My mold experiment has great fashion sense. I'm definitely gonna get published in Fun Guy Daily! <laughs> That's a daily publication? <laughs> It happened again. my trash talk to third graders! A-L-X-7 hyphen! What's that spell? Nothing. That's not a word. And that's why I pay people to spell for me. What I was trying to spell... <laughs> Alligators! <laughs> Go get them, Duck Destroyer! <laughs> Supersonic Quack! <laughs> I believe I'm gonna. I can't say it. But I can. Hey, hey! Have you heard the news? Augustus is about to lose. Now, Lila, that's not how the cheer goes. It goes like. Hey, hey! Have you heard the news? It doesn't matter if you win or lose. Have fun! Hey, hey, have fun! Uh, I don't like losing or fun. Ha! I'm going to win! Thanks for the support, duck. I said thanks. Hey, no need. No! Ducky, turn around. It's not safe. Uh, what are you doing? Augustus is catching up. You can't let him win. Winning isn't everything. What are you doing? Uh, maybe taking a shortcut? <laughs> I can 
didn't fix it. I can buff that out. Uh, where's my falconer when I need him? Go big! You're welcome, Mama Duck. Bye-bye, baby. Holly, what happened? Um, well... At the Acorn King, there was the duckling who was going to go over the waterfall. And, um, the singer lady had to, um, not win the musical so she could save it? You! I lost because of your boat, your driver, and your great cum, a grandma's surprisingly effective cheers! Not to mention I apparently missed an incredible musical about a duckling's daring journey. This is all your fault, Polly Pocket! Ha! You know my name! And I didn't even have to win. So nobody won? Not. <gasps> Quite. <gasps> Yaha! Yaha! You yeah, get that first place up! Go Tommy! I call this album Cosmopolitan City. Awesomest trip that ever awesomed. <laughs> Holly, look! Is that Melody? <laughs> nope, not a pop star. That's a guy with a lemur on his head, which is still pretty cool. <laughs> and here we are. Just one? You could say we pack a tiny. What she means is, thank you, Mr... Laurie. Mr. Laurie. I'm Polly Pocket, and that was the best taxi ride of the best trip of my life. Thanks. Uh, you're welcome, Miss Pocket. This way, girls. Hey, Lila, do you remember when we met that cool mouse at the hotel? Yes! And that wild boat race? Yes! And when we went to that whodunit mystery dinner show, but there was a real mystery, and we had to use tiny power to track the criminal and make sure justice was served? I think you dreamed that one. Yeah. Cosmopolitan City is what dreams are made of. Got your boarding passes, girls? Paper ticket? Oh, so vintage. Digi natives here, right, Polly? <gasps> well, my phone! I must have left it in the taxi! It's okay, don't worry, Polly. You can print your boarding pass, then we'll call the taxi lost and found. I'm sure that nice Mr. Lorry will turn it in when he finds it. But what if he keeps it? Or someone else finds it first? Would you ever leave someone hanging like that? No, of course not. Exactly. So you can believe in the goodness of others. I believe it would be a travesty to lose all those photos. And what would someone think if they saw a pic of us shrunken down beside a real live mouse? Can we check if that taxi is still outside, Grandma? Sure. I'm heading into the terminal to get one of those world-famous Cosmopolitan City cheese and meat tubes before we board, which is in 40 minutes, by the way. So be quick. Meet you at the gate. There it is! Yellow with black checks! Lila, they all look like that. But ours had the llama bobblehead, so we gotta find that little llama. We need a bird's eye view. Tiny power! <sighs> I hate when you're literal. I cannot lose my job today. He dropped his badge. Yeah, like you dropped your phone in a taxi that's getting farther away by the minute. Right. But I can't leave him hanging like that. Pigeons, you wait here. Lila, you're on distraction duty. <laughs> what in the world? reveals her secrets. Well, okay, if you insist. So first, no time for secrets. We have to get my baby, er, I mean, phone. Llama! Oh, Llama Bobblehead, where are you? Okay, we 
We got this, Frank. What? I can sense he's a Frank. We have a connection. Come on, Frank. You heard her. Let's go, Bernice. <laughs> Cassandra? Noah? Zoe? Frank? Huh. Two pigeons named Frank. What are the odds? Frank's away! not getting any closer to your phone. I know! Not a llama bobblehead in sight! Oh, gross! I can't believe the Franks almost ate us! I can't believe I'm gonna smell like a cheese and meat tube for the whole flight! Oh no! The plane is gonna be boarding soon! Where is my phone? You know what they say to do in situations like this? No, what? Well, I don't know. That's why I asked you. There, there. <gasps> there! Polly, look! Help! Run away, cheese and meat tube caught! <gasps> Wrong way! The taxi is that way! But that lady's in trouble. I can't leave her hanging. Tiny power! Thank you, young man. I can't see a thing without them. Ah, oh, for the love of cheese. I only had two more payments on that cot. Good going on the good deed and all, but that taxi's gone. I know what we should do. Ask Shawnee what we should do. Come on, girl with the answers. Answer! Hi! You're just in time. I finally got my moldy monsters under control. We got off on the wrong foot, but we're celebrating our new friendship with pedicures. Feed in. Um, congratulations? But listen, how do we track Polly's phone? Oh, that's easy. I made this Discover My Divas app that I put on all our phones. Let's see here. Oh, looks like it's across the street from you. <gasps> there it is! You up for a little danger? I could pow chop danger in the kneecaps. Let's do it. Tiny power! Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, nailed that landing. What now, Shawnee? It's at your six o'clock. That must be our llama! Or taxi! Let's go, Lila! Go, Polly! Sticky Sneak, activate! All right, phone, come to Polly. My puppy! Someone grab her! Help! Wrangling. Shawnee, which way is it now? Hmm. It appears your phone now exists in 13 places at once. <laughs> Sorry, Discover My Divas is still in its beta phase. Aww. That's okay, Shawnee. We gotta get to the airport or we'll miss our flight. Well, that was stressful. But at least now I can get back to a relax. <gasps> what? Where did... Oh no! The soap! It was antibacterial! <laughs> After all the time we shared together. Cruel, cruel world! I'll never forget you, Moldy Monstrous. But I still have the mold spores. I can create another you! To the lab! <laughs> Printed my boarding pass, like the lame pre-phone days. Now we just have to get through... Security? I'll never make it in time. 
but we have to try. Hey, isn't that the guy I fooled with my secret cone moves earlier? Holly Pocket. Wait a minute. You girls can't get in this line. What? But we have to get home. You gotta head to the pre-check line if you're gonna make your flight. Come on. For real? Am I that charming? <laughs> I had some good luck today, and I'm ready to pass it on. <laughs> Which gate is it? 252, and we're at... Four? Sorry, we'll have to give their seats away. Don't give away my window seat! Oh, Polly, Lila, you're here! Did you find your phone? No, we... Polly Pocket! My phone! Some taxi driver was looking for you. I told him I'd try to find you before your flight left. Thank you so much! Seems like it's a good day for both of us. It's seriously amazing you got your phone back. See, you can count on the goodness of others. You wouldn't leave someone hanging. It's true. She would not leave a single human or adorable pooch in trouble. Huh. Goodness does come around. Thank goodness for your goodness. <laughs> Should we take a selfie to commemorate this moment? Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone seen my charger? In today's episode of Bonita Break 5000, three girls face the universe's fiercest guard. Bonita the Bunny! To make this prison break, they have to be smart. Based on my calculations, the best sounds for maximum bunny moving potential are. A booga booga booga! A booga booga booga! And strong! <laughs> Almost have the costumes! It's going to take super spy disguises! Orange is totally your color, Polly. Oh! I'll save you with my distractor ray. Better hurry before I'm bunny food! And superior technology. To get past this bunny and win Bonita Break 5000, the funnest, fastest game show in... Is it her? Even her knock sounds cool. Polly, we need to use the locket. Right. Go big! Hey, CJ. What's up? It's her. Hey! My special baby girls! Oh, aren't you just so cute in your little dress-up outfit? Hey, CJ! Cool outfit, cool hair, cool existence. Not to be awkward, CJ, but my mom should have told you that you only need to babysit Coco and Vera. We're too old for a babysitter. Really? Because by the looks of the cutesy carrot costumes and the baby toys you're holding, sure looks like you could all still use a babysitter. Baby toy? What baby toy? <laughs> I love that you little ones are so easily amused by simple things. Oh, our game is super fun. So what if it has some baby stuff? It's not baby. It's very mature, just like teenage games. We don't play games. We do mature things, like hanging out at Caviar Club in the mall for caviar hour and eating caviar. In fact, when I'm done babysitting, I am heading straight to the mall to do just that. But you kiddos have fun with the baby stuff. Is caviar mature? Is dress up babyish? What? No! We were adult carrots, the opposite of baby carrots. So let's get back to Bonita Break 5000. Hmm, I think we just outgrew it. What? We're not easily amused by simple things anymore, Shawnee. We're mature and cool and don't need a babysitter. And we're gonna prove it by going to Cavi Hour! Hmm, we're here and Caviar Club is all the way over there. According to this, Cavi Hour ends at four and it is exactly 3.31, so we better hurry. Time to go eat at Caviar. Or is it Caviar's? You know what caviar is, right? Caviar is cones! No, caviar is not cones. Not that. The entire path is blocked off for construction. 
We'll have to find another way in. I got it. Here's what we do. Go around the hot dog habitat kiosk, past the movie theater and Thrillabaloo's escape shop to the Skaga Plaza. Caviar Club is just on the other side. <laughs> Not so fast. Everybody goes gaga for the Gaga Plaza, but we only go gaga for players under this height. <laughs> oh, we don't want to play. We just want to get to Caviar Club. Uh, no can gaga. Uh, with them all being under construction, the quickest way to Caviar Club will be to go down to the East Hall, take the escalator down to the third floor, be a right, take the elevator down to the basement, exit the parking structure, catch a shuttle, then enter from the other side of the mall. Okay? Well, have a gaga great day, you extra big babies. If we go that route, we'll never make Caviar in time. I have a tiny idea. This is the easy part. Get around the train, through the bouncy castle, and past the ball pit. Time to get that caviar. Ah! Oh, those are some big babies. If we can get past Bonita, we can get past anyone. But we did that with baby game stuff. We have to do this the mature way. <laughs> There's nothing babyish about sneaking, right? Nothing! Especially not if you sneak like a grown-up kapow ninja. Ooh. Big baby! of this particular baby, the exact volume and cadence of my silly sound will be... <laughs> 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 Babies are so easily amused by simple things. How babyish! Come on! to describe that experience is awesome. We should have the double bounce to our next round of Bedina Break Fight. I mean, <clears throat> here we come, caviar. You do know what caviar is, right? Caviar is... Diaper! Diaper? No, caviar is definitely not a diaper. No, bad diaper! Look out! Ah! Ah! Quick, all we have to do is make our way across to the exit, and then we can... Ah! Wow, I guess that works too. <laughs> oh, good, good job. <laughs> yeah. hmm. If she thinks we're dolls, she'll launch us closer to the exit. Sky's time. Come on, let's get dolled up. But dressing like a baby is the babiest thing we could do. Ugh. Are you sure? <laughs> We're gonna make it! We didn't make it. to do 
before we get our cabbie hour on. Go big! <laughs> Welcome to cabbie hour, ladies. Correct. We are mature ladies, and we'll take three caviars, please. Uh... Lila? What are you little girls doing here? Just hanging out and eating caviar. Mmm, I just love its texture. It's like... wet sand. <sighs> That's probably because it came from the 10th century aristocrats of the Byzantine Empire, and that tasty texture is how you know it was harvested. Ugh. Does no one here know what they're eating? Caviar is fish eggs! I am big enough to admit that. That is not what I thought it was. Oh. I think I'm gonna be sick. Hmm. It's not that bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sitting around and eating fish eggs? Not fun. <laughs> but do you know what is? Three girls will take on their most dangerous adventure yet. Babies! Gaga over here, you little monsters! We're on an undercover space pirate mission. <laughs> Distract away! Strap in and get ready to have the most fun of your baby life. Not today, buddy. <sighs> I've got this. Push through. This announcing assignment is horrible. I'm gonna fail. Why does our public speaking class have to be graded on how we speak in public? And Lila's over the pond. No shark snacks this round, right, Shawnee? Uh, Shawnee? Uh... Honor rolls on the line. You know what? Just say whatever comes to you. I am Shawnee Smith. Huh? Oh. Two minutes, 31 seconds. Excellent time for Lila. Wouldn't you agree, Shawnee? Yes! I think two minutes and 31 seconds is equal to 151 seconds, which is a prime number. So that is an excellent time. Uh. That was amazing! <laughs> and so much fun! You should have entered, too. Me? Nah, too much of the muscly, strengthy stuff. You could do it, Polly. It's just a matter of putting your mind to it, and then the body can do amazing things. Maybe next year, or the year after. Whoa! Feeding frenzy! Carl is down for the count, folks. Yes! That kid is Selacomorpha food! That's the scientific name for shark. That means our final round will be between Lila Draper, Bodhi Brahmin, and Bella Bogowski! The winner will be crowned the Great Gauntlet Champion. Contestants, get prepped and pumped for the finals! Charge! Oh, look. Little Miss Fashion Pants made it to the finals. Pure luck. You should just drop out now, head to the mall, and leave the gauntlet to the real athletes. Oh, ugh. Yeah, Bella's gonna turn you into a fashion sandwich. Two pieces of bread, mustard, pickles, and fashion pants as a bologna in the middle. Right, Bella? I told you to call me Big! Sounds way more intimidating! Totally! Big! Hey! Lila isn't a fashion pants. I mean, she does have fashionable pants, but she's also strong. Less fashion pants, more athlete's foot! <sighs> Polly, that's not... Never mind. Look, I just want to have fun and prove to myself I can compete. Of course, it would be nice to win. <laughs> Big dreams for a little mall rat. The only thing I've seen you win is a spot in the fashion show. Let's go, Cheryl. A big out. I am sick of this. I'll make them see I'm more than just a highly fashionable style goddess. You already had an amazing first round. No one will remember that. Now I have to win. I need to get some reps in. Can we? We can. Tiny power! Yeah. Two, three, four, five. Arf. 
first finalist, Bodhi, is on a total tear. Bodhi enjoys soccer, parkour, and taco Tuesdays. <laughs> Not sure he likes astronomy, though, because that fall was literally out of this world. Uh, Shawnee? Yeah, yes it was, Nick. Earth to Bodhi, right? <laughs> Good one, Shawnee. 298, 299. Can I get a spot, Polly? Come on, almost there. And 300. Yeah! Oops, is it? <gasps> Broken? Yes, yes it is. Looks like the gears got smushed. I am so sorry, but maybe we can still go big. Huh? Tiny power! Oh, big! What are we gonna do? This is bananas! And my thumbs look like actual bananas. I think I can fix it when I get home with the right tools. But the gauntlet is now! Holly, please help! Okay, when in doubt, tape! Doesn't look great, but I think it'll do the trick. Let's get out of here so we can go big! Tiny power! Go big! Ugh. Well, the good news is I think the shrinking and growing has finally stabilized. The bad news is my body is the size of a dill pickle! Oh, my round is starting any minute. I guess I'll have to forfeit and be fashion pants forever. I'm sorry, Lila. I wish there was some way I could fix it for you. Wait, maybe there is. We could do it together. By it, you mean 3D print new gears for the locket so we can return to our normal human size, right? No, the Great Gauntlet. We can combine our disproportionate bodies and do the gauntlet together. There is no way I can do any of that stuff with this shrunken head odd bod combo. You're stronger than you think. I've seen you zipline through Cosmopolitan City and defeat a Kerpalbot. Plus, it's all about the mind and the body. I'll be the mind, you be the body. Together, we'll prove I'm more than just a girl with a sophisticated yet playful sense of fashion. So, how exactly would we do this? Whoa. Whoa. Ah! Just channel the turtle part of the turtleneck. Slow and steady wins the race. What? You'll have to speak louder! Hard to hear under thick wool! Whoa! Sorry. Ooh, that was forceful! And as we all know, Nick, force is equal to mass times acceleration. Shawnee! Whoa! Come quick! I need a break, uh, but keep up the great announcer work, partner. Lila, you feeling okay? Exactly. I kind of have a pocket size problem. <gasps> I'll assume there's a perfectly logical reason for this by Polly's incredibly perplexed expression and grape size cranium. Next up is our top qualifier, Bella Bigowski, followed by Lila Draper. Uh, good luck. Thanks, Shawnee. Let's go, Polly. The course is this way. No, the other, this way. for Bogowski, putting her in first. <laughs> wow, that's just wow. And now our final, finalist, Lila is at the starting line. Two minutes? That's basically supernatural. Okay, Polly, remember, it's mind and body working as one. Copy that. Oh, <laughs> off to a wobbly, wobbly start, but hopefully she'll straighten out. Of course she will, Nick. Less critical, please. Your head's too heavy. Your legs are too jelly. <laughs> what are you doing up there? What are you doing down there? Trying to walk on these bouncy balls is not the easiest. Can you try a little harder? <laughs> okay, we made it. Barely. Keep your balance here. Watch out for the dodgeballs. Dodge what? <laughs> 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 Shark Kid is eating pizza! Very soggy 
pizza. <laughs> Shari, Lala's head just fell off. You're exhausted, aren't you? And I care way more about how you feel than what some meanies think of me. You're not having fun, so let's just quit. What? Absolutely not. Sure, I'm used to doing things with a best friend having my back, not on my back. But we're finishing this course together. Mind and body, right? Now, get your tiny body on my big shoulders and let's do this! Let's go! Oh, bears, Polly! Now, up the dragon's neck! One more section! You've got this! I don't think I got this, Lila! No, we've got this! Let me help! Incredible flexibility, Nick. But is she part giraffe? <sighs> oh, Lila, you are so strong. Way stronger than Bella Bogowski. Doesn't matter who else I'm stronger than. I've been training hard and I'm stronger than I've ever been before. <sighs> Woohoo! They finished! I, I mean, she finished! Yeah! Not the fastest time, Shawnee. In fact, the slowest time. By a lot. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, she doesn't even care that she lost. That's actually pretty cool. <sighs> Sorry I let my competitiveness with Bella get the best of me. Guess I forgot about just having fun. But it was fun! I can't believe my body could even do half of that stuff under these weird circumstances. But my mind stepped up big time to help me out. Okay, the gears are fixed. Let's try this! And Polly takes Lila's pocket-sized hand. Can they go back to normal? Go, oh, um, regular! Yeah. It's a grow! Polly and Lila for the win! You know, I think I'm really good at this announcer stuff. <laughs> <sighs> Isn't the amusement park the best? Yeah, it's got rides, snacks, and my favorite, strength tester. <laughs> Now that's a real strength tester. Mr. Snuggles McGee! <sighs> we have to win that gorilla, even if it takes all day. But I wanted to do the rides. And do the bumper cars. That's what we're here for, not some dusty old stuffed animal. Some dusty old stuffed animal? How dare you say that about Mr. Snuggles McGee, my first ever best friend. You see, he was a gift from Grandma. Mr. Snuggles McGee and I did everything together. We had high tea, epic staring contests. He always won. Ah, nuts! And we totally shredded the half pipe. We were inseparable. Then, the unthinkable happened. Mr. Snuggles McGee! <laughs> Time to get my best friend back. Hi, how much do you want for Mr. Snuggles McGee? <laughs> Mr. Snuggles McGee? <laughs> His name is Chester. He's the carnival's mascot and he's not for sale, though he is cuddly. Oh, not the monkey. The gorilla. Oh, him. Also not for sale. You need to win three tokens. You can win one token from each of the carnival games. The ring toss, the tin cans, and the balloon pop. Win all three and the gorilla's yours. Otherwise, you get this. Well, we better win all three games then. Let's go! I can win the ring toss. It's all about geometry, my specialty. Lila, I'll take the tin cans. My pitching arm is in great shape now, thanks to Kerpow. Great, and I'm on the balloon pop. First, I have to find the angle's vertex, then account for wind effects and gravitational force, and voila! The perfect trajectory. What? Did they change Newton's three laws of motion and not tell me? Pfft, scientists, those tricksters. Good luck. Thanks, but I don't need luck. I've got high heat. 
That's a ball! Gah! It all comes down to this, folks. And here's the fish! Yes! No! One round of your finest darts, please. This is for Mr. Snuggles McGee. What? That's not possible! Uh, that always happens, but rules are rules. You have to pop all the balloons to win. Sorry, kid. The games are rigged! <gasps> My game's rigged? <sighs> well, I never. But we couldn't win any of them, so they must be rigged. We carnival folk take ethics very seriously. When I got into this business, I vowed on the sacred golden whack a mallet to never cheat. And if the Carnival Board of Ethics thought we were rigging games, <laughs> they'd shut us down. So, rather than flinging around baseless accusations, I suggest you keep trying. Something smells fishy here. You mean my pickled herring nutrition shake? Ugh. Yes, Lila. Ugh. But also, the games are definitely rigged. Let's take a closer look. Whoa! It appears the bottles are coated in a slippery substance. Let's see. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. Careful, don't touch it! Mmm, banana pudding. What? You said don't touch it, not don't eat it. We're going to send this picture to the Carnival Board of Ethics. Save some of the evidence. Mmm, -hmm, that is good stuff. My Kerpel moves will take this down. Bye! What? Something's holding them up. And that something's bamboo? And that something's our evidence. <laughs> These balloons won't pop. That's nuts. Coconuts! I'd know the scent of coconut body spray anywhere. Yep, 100% coconut. The games are rigged and we have plenty of evidence. Once we blow this case open, Mr. Snuggles McGee will be mine. Go big! To the Carnival Board of Ethics. Hey! <laughs> Chester took your phone! We have to catch him! Let's go! Oh, yeah. Tiny power!
coconuts. Rudimentary tool work. You rigged all the games. Oh no! The pictures are gone. He must have deleted them. <laughs> Good thing the photos were already uploaded to the cloud. <laughs> Aren't so smart, are you now, Chester? What's the cloud? I just don't understand why a monkey would rig the games. Understood him? Not a word, but I know that look. Mr. Stuggles McGee is his best friend, and he didn't want anybody to win him, so he rigged the games. I have a plan to help, but you have to unrig the games. Deal? <laughs> One Mr. Snuggles McGee, please. Who? I mean the gorilla. Oh, great golden whacker mallets. You actually won. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. I missed you, but I think you're needed here with your new best friend. <laughs> Hi, you can't give a prize to my monkey. <laughs> Actually, according to page 638 of the Carnival Code of Ethics, if a prize winner gives a prize to the pet of any Carnival employee, the pet retains full ownership of said prize, and the employee must never, ever take the prize away. <laughs> and must give the pet nightly foot massages. Huh. I must have forgotten about that rule. Well, I'm an honest Carnival man. He's all yours, Chester. thought about doing kerpow? That counts! You blinked! Yes! I finally won! Hmm. Nothing like the great outdoors, huh, girls? <sighs> uh, girls? Down here, Grandma! Polly? The great outdoors is, well, great, but massaging recliners are incredible. It's like being in a super relaxing rocket launch. And we can operate it on our phones. This isn't girls' fancy weekend glamping in the woods. It's girls' weekend camping in the woods. Time to get some fresh mountain air. We are getting that. My air scentifier is pumping the pine. It also has a maple bacon yes. hot dog setting that smells like biting into a real maple bacon hot dog. What about biting into a real hot dog? This isn't really camping. What's real camping then? According to the camper's companion, a camper is no camper at all unless they can spark a fire in a fire safe zone. Does your camper have a setting for sparking a campfire like that? No, but if I can build this camper, I'm sure I can start a fire. Come on, Shawnee. Okay. Go big! Let me see that. Easy. Why don't you relax in the camper and we'll have a fire going in no time. Relax? While camping? Well, I... Mmm. That maple bacon hot dog scent does smell pretty scrumptious. Okay. Tiny power me, Polly. Grandma? Tiny power! <sighs> Yum. Better turn it up to turbo. It's basically impossible to start a fire with just twigs. 
Could we just use my travel-sized Bunsen burner? Nope. When building a campfire that's safer, the answer should always come from nature. Ugh, these sticks are unsparkable. Let's go find some better ones. Earl, where'd you put the garlic ribs I had marinating? Who took my candy cauliflower? Yeah, my hot dog buns are missing. My artisanal small batch mustard is gone. Gone! Wow, people at this campground sure have a hard time keeping track of their food. At least we know Grandma P is always prepared. I'm sure she brought enough food to go around. <laughs> Wow, this massage chair is no joke. It appears I've been taken by a bear. Huh. All right, Grandma. We're gonna build the best fire. Grandma? Bear! Bear, wait! Don't take my grandma! Where'd he go? I don't know, but wherever he went, he took my camper. And my grandma. Oh, I can find him with my camper tracker. It's in my backpack. In the camper. Huh. Maybe Grandma's book on camping will tell us what to do. Good thinking, Shawnee. It says here we should look for the bear's tracks. Huh. There! Huh? Those weren't bear tracks. It's just Bigfoot. Wow, people are usually more excited to see me. Have I lost my touch? Is the world too big for Bigfoot? <laughs> uh, sorry to interrupt your self-reflection, Mr. Foot, but have you seen a bear with a tiny camper? Oh, yeah, that guy, he went down that trail. Thank you, Mr. Foot. For the record, I always believed in you. <laughs> and just like that, I'm back in the game. Oh no! How are we gonna cross? Use a floating vessel such as a canoe, paddleboard, or pontoon. Where are we supposed to find one of those? Huh. They're all around you if you're small enough. Tiny power! <laughs> It says, climb a tree to survey the landscape. Hello, marvelous Mrs. Maple. <laughs> really tall tree. You've got this, Shawnee. Right, for Grandma. Yeah, hashtag Team Grandma. Go big! <laughs> I got you. no matter how scared you are. Bears don't scare me. Rah! Um, how about... <clears throat> Rah! I think it might work better if we were, you know, big. Oh, right. Go big! <laughs> Rah! Get away, bear! <laughs> I'm gonna go right up to that bear, that really, really real bear, and scare him right out of here. Yep, that's what I have to do. Ah! I'm a big, scary monster! And I'm gonna do uh, what scary monsters do! What do scary monsters do? Intimidate bears! That's right! Ah! Oh, no, 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 bear. I'm not tasty. 
Shanti, I'm terrified! Ah! Great work, Shawnee! Come on, Grandma, before the bear sees. Let's get up and go! What took you so long? Don't tell me Bigfoot led you off course. Wait, you know Mr. Foot? Roar! <laughs> nice bear! Tiny power! <laughs> Hide! <laughs> Polly, we should go while he's distracted. But... <laughs> Wait! He's hurt! <laughs> I think there's a splinter of the kayak stuck in his gums. That can't feel good. Uh, anything in this book about emergency bear dentistry, Grandma? <sighs> I wish I could say there was. <laughs> Poor bear. We have to help him. I have a plan. Tiny power! Wee, <laughs> <laughs> you've been really ripping into those garlic ribs. I got you, Bear Buddy. <laughs> He's okay. Uh, uh. <sighs> yeah! Go big. Uh, Glad you're back, ugh. Polly. But ugh. I know getting back to nature means no showers. But ugh, you could use one. Oh, I have one in the camper. <sighs> or I had one. Guess I won't be using that camper again. <gasps> You... you're giving me back my camper? I think he wants to say thank you, Polly. Whoa. Did this book teach you how to speak bear? Nah. Some things about nature you just feel. You're welcome, bear. Anytime. Sure, that maple bacon hot dog smell was something, but nothing beats the real stuff. Mm. <sighs> This is what I love about camping. The crisp air, the sky above, the... <gasps> Polly! That wasn't me! <laughs> <laughs> I think our little bear friend had a good feast. <laughs> I'll say, I can almost smell his belch all the way from here. Ooh. Or maybe I missed a spot. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it seems highly likely, given the day and the placement of the package, that this is for me. Go big! <gasps> Happy, Happy birthday! birthday! <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you! Come on, we're taking you to the Sweetie TV's Candy Factory for the Science of Candy Making Tour. Oh, I love science! And candy! We're really going to the place where they invented the most regal candy of all time? Queen Worm! Remember the first time we had one? <laughs> Go introduce yourself, Shawnee. Try sharing this queen worm candy. Hi, I'm Shawnee. Do you like candy? Mmm! I'm Polly, and this is Lila. Want to be our new best friend? Hello. Hi. I'm here too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for the Sweetie Teethy Science Tour, but I really do wish I could dig up one more queen worm. Queen worm sounds royally gross. Why haven't I heard of it? Seriously? You don't remember the commercial? On a throne of pretzels, caramel, and chocolate, one gummy worm rules all. Queen worm. Pitchy and doesn't ring a bell. Well, they stopped making them a long time ago. Less talking about candy, more getting to candy. A popular candy canceled? Hmm. Aha! I knew it! The queen worm candy is at the center of the Littleton candy conspiracy. 
Some believe that the queen worm was so good, it had to be stopped. Others say all the queen worm candy was taken by a secret organization. Still, others believe that the queen worm is the primary food for a race of lizard aliens. Oh, there's the tour guide. What? There are no tour guides and conspiracy theories. I... Oh, I see. Hello, can you tell me about the queen worm conspiracy? Uh, what queen worm conspiracy? That's exactly what someone trying to hide a conspiracy would say. I know it hasn't been sold for a while, but is there any way we can get a queen worm candy on the tour? Any at all? No, they're all gone. Oh, for reals? Is that because lizard people ate them all? Hmm? Uh. Oh, greetings. Let's begin our scientific explanation of candy. It's my birthday, and I'm ready for science. Oh, birthday girl, huh? Here you go, birthday girl. <clears throat> this is where the magic happens. Cool swag. Our high-tech factory floor is fully automated. No people allowed. To ensure no contamination of the candy, if a person is detected, robotic security is alerted. Now, single file to the lecture hall. No one told me there would be a lecture! Best birthday ever! The secret to making delicious candy is science. Yes! Woohoo! Go science! First, let's examine the melting point of chocolate. Chocolate typically melts around... When we pass the candy factory floor, yeah. what did you see? Science. Our chance at fun slipping away? No. A pretzel twister? Caramel, chocolate, <gasps> all the things we'd need to build our own queen worm. We have to sneak in there to make Shawnee her favorite candy for her birthday. And uncover undeniable evidence of conspiracy? Let's do it! Isn't this amazing? Totally. But I need to go, uh, go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, me too. And I also have uh, to use... Sounds good. See ya. Remember, there's automatic sensors and robotic security all over the factory. We have to stay tiny. First thing we need is twisty pretzels for the throne. I spy a salty, crunchy treat on that conveyor belt. Come on. <laughs> now we're rolling in dough. Ew, these pretzels haven't been cooked yet. Or twisted. They're about to be, and so are we! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Only way out is through. <laughs> <laughs> Popping candy is made by exposing hot candy to... Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Carbon dioxide trapping gas inside the candy! Yeah, right again, birthday girl. <laughs> I'm too young to be cooked! Lila! Polly! Nick! Time! Hurry! You saved us! Huh. Nick just gave me this weird feeling in my chest. Gratitude? <coughs> no, wait. <laughs> it was just a gas bubble. These will work for the Queen Worm Throne. <coughs> now we need the next ingredient. Caramel! Down there! Let's go! Woohoo! Ooh, should we go with more of a Rococo style or modern minimalism? Function over form, Lila. I'll hold the seat. You two hold the side. Here it comes! <laughs> we made it! On to step three, chocolate! Oh. Ah. oh, this totally bites! Nick, of course 
You're a genius! What? <laughs> Holy! Oh, no. <laughs> ah! <sighs> Sweet safety! Now, how do we get to the chocolate? Oh, wow. There's the vet! Grab some liquors for rope, and we'll dip the throne. Careful! Fall into the vat of boiling chocolate and you'll be a literal hot mess. That's a check for chocolate coating. Let's pull it back up. A little help! Lila, do you see what I see? Think we can swing it? Nick, hold tight. You're going for a ride. <laughs> Worms? I knew I was right. Wormtastic! Wow. You just put baking soda soaked worms into vinegar for this experiment. Excellent. All hail Queen Worm. Now all we have to do is just get this delicious diva to Shawnee. If that's where the candy gets out, that's where we get out. Body control scan initiated. Human contamination detected. You shall not pass. Trying to keep their secrets safe? Conspiracy confirmed. <laughs> Must destroy unauthorized candy. <laughs> Nick, use your body to shield us from the lasers. Hey. Holy, leave the throne and run. Tiny power. Go big. Holy. I can't believe it. After all that. We lost the queen worm. No time to worry about that now. We have to get back to Shawnee before she notices we're gone. Go big! Here's a free sample of our newest candy. Oh, how the fun. gooey, chewy, kablooey. Shawnee! Wasn't that amazing when we made the worms dance and experiment with the poppy candy and the giant... Uh, Shawnee, we haven't... Yep! What a great science tour! I just wish we could have found a way to get you a queen worm candy for old time's sake. It's okay, Polly. It wasn't really about the candy. It was about the memory. And now we have this. The gooey, chewy, kablooey? A new candy to mark new memories, new friends, and a new birthday for the world's sweetest birthday girl. Mm. Hmm. It's no queen worm, but it's tasty in a different way. A good candy to mark the best friends and best birthday a girl could have. Mm. This is nice. I guess I should have just enjoyed the candy instead of worrying about the... Lizard person alert! Conspiracy? Confirmed. Queen Worm. The big question is, do we go by release date and start with why girls rise of the moon shadows, or chronologically by when the movie is supposed to take place and start with another day, another cosmic year? Doesn't matter what we start with, because we're gonna watch them all. No sleep sleepovers are the best. All night, all you can eat snack buffet is set. Oh, snack buffet. Can you name two words that sound better together than snack buffet? Clearance sale? Scientific discovery? It was a rhetorical question. Wow, look at this setup. Mmm, is that popcorn I smell? Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hi, Peaches. Peaches, you missed your cue! Uh, actually, we had to leave Peaches at the vet overnight. What? I thought she just had a tummy ache. It's all good, Polly Pie. Peaches is fine. Just needs some rest. But how will she rest without Edward Bunny Man the Fourth? She never sleeps without him. See? Peaches will be fine. Everyone at the vet's office is great with dogs. But no one knows Peaches like I do. She needs her bunny. We'll take it to her, right, girls? 
Absolutely. It'll give us more time to contemplate the order of our Y Girls movie viewing. And on the way back, we can pick up more candy. I mean, spinach? <laughs> All right, but you better hurry before they close for the night. Huh? They're closed already? Ugh, looks like we missed them by three minutes and 27 seconds. Oh, hold up. I see signs of life. Hello? Excuse me. Bunny delivery. <sighs> this is not the time to be getting your groove on. Hmm. We'll have to find another way in. Like this mail slot? Smart thinking, Shawnee. Tiny! Wait, shouldn't we hide first? Nah! nah. Tiny power! Yeah. Remind me to never install a mail slot in my home. Why? Because tiny people with a magical locket might slip through? Tiny people, tiny aliens, extra large mold spores. Mail slots are a real security risk. <laughs> Honey, will you be my baby? I promise that I don't have rabies. Uh, those lyrics are oddly specific. <gasps> Peaches! The animals must be in that back room. All right, let's go big. Wait, my security senses are jingling. There! And there! And one more over there. Better stay pocket size and try to stay out of sight. Smart. There's Peaches. Come on. Okay, go, 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 go. Quick. Oh, this one is Gwendolyn, the Malamute puppy. She likes to chase her tail and eat treats. Huh, I think Gwendolyn and I would get along. Peaches, my puppy baby sweetie peachy pumpkin pie. <laughs> go, Big Edward. Really? This is when you need me to be specific? <sighs> Go Big Edward Bunny Man the Fourth! <laughs> Tail up, floppy ears, relaxed jaw. That's one happy dog. <sighs> May all our future selves find someone who looks at us like Peaches looks at a slobbery, chewed up bunny. Watch this. <laughs> it's my secret trick to get her to sleep. Do you think it works on people? That move would make me the ultimate Kerpow Master. Hi! Yeah, no, that's just weird. Although I do have this itch on my back you could get. <coughs> hmm. Sounds like a <gasps> little chick swamp frog. <coughs> Little froggo. He looks even more annoyed than we do. Okay, no prob. We got this. We just have to cure his hiccups. <gasps> oh, the quickest way to get rid of hiccups is to get your heart pumping and breath rate up. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> Person, but I think your workout makes us starting to disrupt the other animals. And I think this frog feels the same way about PE as I do. Okay, I guess I'll have to get my steps in later. Hmm. There's evidence that being scared cures hiccups. So, what's your deepest, darkest fear? Uh, maybe spiders? Or wearing the same outfit as someone else? Or your peers realizing that you flaunt your intelligence to hide your social insecurities? How to cure hiccups. Oh, try eating something sour. I have extra sour balls from the snack buffet. Hmm, but how will we get him to eat it? Buzz, buzz, buzz. Ew, look, Shawnee, a fly! <laughs> are gone. Happy Froggy, happy Peaches. Now we can get out of here before we get caught. 
and Peaches can rest while we get back to our movie marathon. Poor Peaches won't get a wink of sleep with all these loud animals. Rat, Polly want a cracker? No, thank you. Rat, Polly want a cracker? I said no, thank you. Finally, all done. Polly want a cracker. Maybe you should just take that cracker, Polly. If this parrot keeps squawking, that nurse will come in and catch us. We need to cover the parrot's cage. Then he'll go back to sleep. Aw, a burrito. We can use that blanket. Tiny power! better on her. snack buffet. I could eat three snack buffets after all the work we just did. Luckily, I brought enough sour balls to hold me over. I was so scared about getting caught the whole time, I couldn't even think about food. But now... My furry friends, I'm coming for you! It's okay, Sir Sleeps a Lot. Oh, I got you, Hoppy Scotch. Snuggle in, Rapunzel. Huh, where did this jacket come from? Is this your bunny, Peaches? <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Edward Bunny Man. what Peaches likes? He knows what they all like. Huh. I guess Mom and Dad were right. Peaches is in good hands here. Time for our no sleep sleepover? Yeah. I'm always ready to watch the Y girls kick some asteroid belts. I'm adrenaline rushed and ready to go. I may never sleep again. <sighs> 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 It starts like this. Once upon a time, there was a kingdom ruled by Princess Pineappleine. That's me. She's fair, just, brave, all that good ruler stuff, and adored by all in the kingdom, including her best friends, the Pineapple Wizard and Pineapple Knight. <laughs> but her super awesome kingdom was no match for a giant. <laughs> or his pet dragon. They were forced to flee the kingdom. 
<laughs> Whatever shall we do? She's getting to it. Mm. We shall reclaim our home. For I am Princess Pineappleine, and like the noble pineapple, I'm tough outside, sweet inside, and, and, and sharp, sharp on the top. Yes, that. <laughs> so the princess and her friends gotta get their castle back and rescue the prince, who's the dude in distress. Uh, hold on. The prince was kidnapped? Shh! This is the best part! Pineapple princess power! Pineapple magic! Pineapple strength! <laughs> Onward! To you victory! Wait! Uh, do I get cool armor? <laughs> Sweet Prince, we're on our way to rescue you! Seriously? This story is totally unrealistic. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, it's not supposed to be realistic. That's why it's filed under fantasy. You'd like it more if you actually read it. No offense, but Polly's recap isn't as good as the book. Lila's right. Nothing could be as good as this book. Shoo! Go pick on someone, well, bigger than your own size. Like those people over there. That new hoity-toity resort is a bit much. There's only a pocket slice of beach left. That's all we need. Who wants all that extra sand? Well, while you three play princess, I'm going to enjoy some real literature. <laughs> Whose idea was it to use ketchup packets for pillows? <laughs> <laughs> Tough, sweet, sharp. It's ridiculous. Nobody's all those things. If it's so ridiculous, why is it the best-selling book of summer? It ain't the best book of summer. <laughs> well, kids, I've got some fish to meet. Back in a splash. Don't you even think about it. Nick, you're not getting it because you haven't heard the best part. So, they know that every dragon has a weak spot. They love belly rubs. Yeah! They do that to get past the dragon. But they still gotta save the prince from the tower. The knight, who's unquestionably the strongest girl in the land, Whoa. she tells Liz, had to scale the tower to reach the prince. As she climbed, he yelled, Help! How'd you know that's what he said? Help! Help me! Help! Help! Nick! Doggone it! Go big! <laughs> Where do you three think you're going? Hi, we're just looking for our friend. He's in here. Trust me, you don't have friends here. Please make your way back over the rope. If you just let us... No exceptions! Take your pint-sized business back to the <laughs> public beach. Pint-sized, huh? How about pocket-sized? Tiny power! Uh, I thought beach days uh, were supposed to be uh, relaxing. Uh, Come on, girls. Almost there. Engage your car and breathe. She never gets tired, does she? Dog napper? Uh, people napper? There! Let's go big and find Nick! If we do that, we'll get caught before we can say escargo big! Looks like we'll have to hoof it! Pocket style! Tiny power! <laughs> On your marks, get set, beach run! <laughs> Arthur? 
mother. I can't well, tell. <laughs> Just over that hill. Go big! <laughs> Pocket people? Hey, hey, up here! Whoa, this looks just like that time when Princess Pineappling. <gasps> oh, what do you mean when the big scary furry dragon eats the peasants? Yeah, but then. Shawnee! It's just like the book. I've got this. Nice, adorable, terrifying, cute doggy. I'll always remember you, Shawnee. <laughs> Shawnee? Who's a good girl? Inside, just like Princess Pineappleine. Nice dog whispering, but uh, remember me. Let's save our bumbling prince. Bumbling? More like, uh, uh, oh, what's the word? <laughs> Alley, what? <laughs> Oof! Huh, that seemed way easier in the book. Hmm. What if <gasps> you're a genius? <laughs> All right. <sighs> Tough on the outside. Princess Pineappleine doesn't seem so impossible now, does she? Well, it's still Did sort you of... not want to be rescued? <sighs> <sighs> Thanks. Maybe I... Oh, you can apologize later. Now hang on. To what? <laughs> <laughs> I could have gotten out of there if I just had a little more time. Well then, Prince Not Charming, what's our next move? Well, we need to get out of here before. <laughs> She's back! <gasps> Ooh, new toys! <laughs> Make like a toy and freeze! Silly Prince, who took you down from the tower? Where did you come from? <gasps> Maybe one of you can be the prince's bride. Maybe we play entrepreneur instead of bride. I hope be quiet. Oh, my dolls are talking. <laughs> Mommy! Mommy! Come quick! Coming, Cordelia. Run for it! Gotcha! <laughs> Ridden a furry dragon? Good girl! And sharp on the top. How's that for pineapple princess power? Well, I admit it's. They were talking, Mommy! I saw! Of course, sweetheart. My dolls used to talk to me, too. And Lynette! Come here, Pooty Poo Poo! <laughs> oh, there you are. What have you kids been up to? Shawnee tamed a dragon! Lila climbed a tower. Polly escaped the giant. It was just like Princess Pineappleine. I thought Princess Pineappleine was unrealistic. Sweet, tough, and sharp? Impossible. Uh, okay, fine. She's really cool, and so are her friends. Magical armor and dragons and giants. I just said all that because... because I didn't want to be stuck in a tower. I want to be one of the heroes. I can't blame you for that. You can be the hero, you know, with a little imagination. Mind if I borrow that book? Read away, Nicholas. To defeat the Contessa Stravessa. That's me! Only one creature has the skills and bravery required for such a task. Ugh. The Pineapple Prince and his band of brave knights! Ugh. Tough outside, sweet inside, and sharp on the top! Polly, you almost forgot this. No need, I got my mini travel toothbrush. <clears throat> oh, great. Did you remember to pack your PJs? <clears throat> yep, I got everything. 
But it's just one bag. How can you have everything you need for a sleepover in there? I don't need much because tonight is all about practicing for our performance tomorrow morning at the Senior Center's bi-weekly breakfast banquet. Oh, what about your special nightlight? Mom, I'm 11 now. I don't need a nightlight. <laughs> okay. But did you pack your instrument? Of course I brought my instrument. Please, Mom. I'm not a little kid anymore. You're right, honey. I guess I still think of you as my little girl. And I just don't want you to forget anything. Look at you. You packed everything on your own and all in one bag. <sighs> you really have grown up. Um, honey. Oh, sweetie. <laughs> the Pestomatic 3000, the most advanced home security system and pesto maker in the world is finally ready to go. Yes, dear, I know. The whole neighborhood knows since you've been shouting about it all week. I'm just so excited that we're actually going to catch that rascally raccoon tonight. Just watch. It's got nets, drones, lasers, lights, and more. It can catch anything. Including us. Uh, <laughs> uh. All right, then. I better go. Oh, I'm going to miss you tonight. OK, have fun. And if you need me, just... Mom, I'm a grown-up, remember? Right. My little girl is, I guess, grown-up. Bye! Sorry I'm late. Got caught in Dad's new high-powered security system. Uh, looks like he did, too. Oh, hey, girls. <laughs> Everything's cool? It's all good? Networks? <laughs> the band's all here. We should practice for the big show. I got my jug. I've got my washboard. And I've got my spoons right here. No, it can't be. No, 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 no. Go big costume. Go big couch. Go big wings. Go big makeup. Go big kitchen sink. Oh, no. This is my worst nightmare. Whoa. Relax, Polly. I've got plenty of spoons in the kitchen. No can do, Shawnee. Grandma gave me those spoons. If she sees me without them tomorrow, she'll be crushed. And I need them tonight so I can practice my big spoon solo. Let's just call your mom. No, 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 you don't understand. This is the first time I packed without mom's help. If she finds out I forgot my spoons, she's gonna think I'm a little kid forever. We have to break into my room. But how will we get by the new security system? Oh yeah, the pesto pasta eight million. <gasps> Are you shrinking what I'm thinking? Dive, dive, no! <laughs> Polly, stop! <sighs> Getting around these trip lasers is impossible. Please, Shawnee, I've watched a lot of spy movies, so I know that when someone says it's impossible, that just means it's time to unleash our secret weapon. An invisible car? A laser watch? Cool, but no. The secret weapon is always a dramatic catchphrase. Like, you're trying to crisscross the wrong girls. Ooh, or, smell your laser alarms. Oh, I've got the best catchphrase ever. Let's hurry up and get my spoons. Eh, not very catchy. <laughs> My spoons have to be in here. Now push slow. <laughs> ah! Your dad must have sprung for the upgrade with contact sensors for all the windows. Aboard! Aboard! Raccoon! <sighs> False alarm. Score one for the raccoon. You're rooting against me? More like for the raccoon. She's just trying to eat. Mm -hmm. Look, you've been up late every night for weeks trying to catch that raccoon. Here, maybe you should eat too. Try a PB and chocolate sandwich. <gasps> Someone beat me to it! Raccoon! What? How? Where'd it go? I'll catch this raccoon by thinking like a raccoon. Dad's performance.
performance art classes are really paying off. I'm impressed. And embarrassed. Let's tail the raccoon as it goes back inside. Come on! Hey, I know that raccoon. I leave her peanuts every night, and on Thursday she gets lasagna. With extra mozzarella. Oh, so good. What? Sometimes I need a late night snack. Best lawn lasagna I've ever had. Honey, can you stop playing raccoon for a second and turn off those sirens? Ah, uh, sorry, hon. Uh, got lost in my character. She's on the roof. Come on. <laughs> Don't step in the light. Good as caught. The Pestomatic 3000 includes the trademark Santa Stopper. The second that raccoon makes contact in the fireplace, it's game over. <laughs> Impressive spy moves for a rodent. I wonder what her catchphrase is. Probably, say hello to the Furminator. Less catchphrase, more catching. Come on! <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> Dad, he's really exhausted himself with this raccoon thing. Maybe we should catch the raccoon for him so he can go back to normal. <laughs> but what about your spoons? We'll catch the raccoon for Dad first, then spoons hmm. on the way out. There! <laughs> Raccoons! <sighs> oh, that was close. Now's our chance to get that raccoon so my dad could get some rest. Let's tiny up some loose ends, kitchen twine style. Yeah, this bandit picked the wrong pocket. Excellent catchphrase. Sweet! <laughs> caught you, Red Pod! Your dad's gonna flip when he wakes up and sees that we finally caught the raccoon! <laughs> and her totally precious babies. Huh? Oh. I gotta get some coffee to stay awake. According to my calculations, the peanuts you were leaving for her weren't enough to feed her and her new family. <laughs> you can tell all that from a calculator? Ah, <laughs> the wonders of math. Oh. <gasps> Dad alert! We can't let him take their mama away. Tiny power mama raccoon! Go big us! Raccoon? Where? <laughs> What? No raccoons. <laughs> Just us. Polly? Shawnee? Lila? Another false alarm. What are you doing here? I, uh, forgot to say goodbye before I left. But you did say goodbye. Oh, well, then I, uh... You forgot something, didn't you? Yes, that's it. I, uh... I forgot my spoons. Mom was right. I guess I'm still just a little kid who forgets things. <laughs> it takes a little courage and a big kid to admit something like that. And your mom knows that's just what you are. She does? Absolutely. And even big kids need help sometimes. That's why mom left your spoons on Shawnee's front step. I don't know how you could have missed them on your way over. <laughs> What's in your pocket there? My lucky, uh, grasshopper? Your lucky what? Gotta go practice. Thanks, Dad! <laughs> Polly Pie, you must have dropped these on your way over. Love you, Mom. So what do we do with the bandit? If we let her go, we'll be subjected to more of your dad's raccoon performance art. Go big, Mama Raccoon! <laughs> You're a good mom. Just like my mom. And you do anything to take care of your babies. But it's not okay to break into our house and steal. Especially because that means you're keeping my dad up all night. But I want you and your babies to have plenty of food. So from now on, if you promise not to steal anymore, I'll leave you peanuts every night, lasagna on Thursdays, and a PB&C sandwich on weekends. Deal? Let's just get that in writing. Paw there, please. <laughs> You know, when we asked your grandma to teach us the hits from the 80s, we didn't mean the 1880s, but it's so exciting.
exclusive to play something that no one else in school plays. Snack break! And that's why I play the spoons. <laughs> Where's my... Ah! Huh? Ready to watch me slay? In the controlled environment of the Littleton Kerpow team trial? Yes. Oh, I really hope I make the team. They do Kerpow demonstrations all around the country, which combines my favorite things. Travel, Kerpow, and crowds cheering for me. But there's only one spot. If that Kerpow spotlight's gonna be mine, I have to beat the competition. Based on your training regimen, I give you a 99.751% chance of success. You've been training that hard, fashion pants? Oh, that's cute. Hello, Bigowski. Welcome to the 0.249%. Hey, boys. I can tell you're fans, so you can call me Big. But, Miss Fashion Pants, you can call me the newest member of the Littleton Kabow Team. See you on the mat. Goodbye, Spotlight. I can't compete with Bella. For her freestyle chop and block finale, she crushes a granite slab with her head. Forget her. You got this. I wish I could take you two onto the mat with me. Don't worry, Lila. We'll be right there. And if you need a boost, just look to us and we'll boost you up. Promise? Promise. You got this. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to the Littleton Kapow Team Trials. We start with two rounds. Then the two best competitors will face off in the freestyle chopping block. And the winner will join the demo team. Round one, breaking down or building up. Big Ski, begin! You're next. Building up. <laughs> Inferior craftsmanship, Jefferson. Denied. <laughs> Draper, you're next. You can do it. Go, Lila. <laughs> oh, nice work, Draper. One person's failure. <laughs> Is another success. Draper, Rivera, and Migoski. On to the second round of competition. Fantastic group. Competitors will be judged on both their technique and presentation. <laughs> Ten for chopping and zero for presentation, Rivera. Denied. <laughs> Migoski, your next. <gasps> Orange juice! Pulp free, slightly pulped, and fully pulped! I can't follow that! Draper, you're next! You got this, Lila! I prefer my watermelon with the seeds. But otherwise, great kicks in presentation, Draper. Yeah! There's something suspicious about that Bella Bogowski. She didn't even recycle her orange juice container. Orange juice? She cheated. We need to get hard evidence. Congratulations to our two finalists. Bella Bigowski and Lila Draper, who will be competing for the last spot on the team. We're going to take a short break and then come back for our final round, the freestyle chopping block. That's where Bella does the head to granite chop thing. We have to stop that cheater. But we promised Lila that we'd be here to cheer her on. Lila needs us to make sure Bella doesn't cheat her way onto the team. <gasps> I have an idea. Bella's going into the locker room. Hey, where's your competitor's badge? We'll have to sneak in. Tiny power! A whole bunch of 
bunch of things that I wish I hadn't. No, not the stinky athlete smell. The paint smell. There! Up here! That's not granite. It's foam board. So that's how she traps it with her head. It's a shame that she's Lila's mortal enemy because she's quite the talented artist. Ah, hide! <laughs> This smells worse than your little brother's diaper. Okay, so we'll wait until Bella leaves, and then we'll take the evidence to Grandmaster Khan. Ah! Impressive paint job, Bella. This is Bella's bag? Contestants, prepare for the chopping block. <clears throat> Why does Lila have a granite slab for the chopping block? She must be doing it because she thinks Bella is going to break real granite. We promised her we'd be there to boost her, and now she needs a boost. But what good is a boost if it means Bella can cheat and take Lila's spot on the team? Huh. You're right. Tiny power, you fakey fake. Just in case we need it as evidence. Good idea, Polly. Ah! Huh? Where's my granite slab? Don't worry, Bigowski. I always have extra granite. We're never going to make it back to our seats without being spotted. Don't worry. We'll still keep our promise. What? How could they leave? They promised to cheer me on. Oh, I can't do this. Yes, you can. <gasps> You didn't leave me! Of course not. We'll always be by your side. Sorry, it's just that we got sidetracked when we... It's saw... time for the chopping block. Shh, here we go. If you fail to chop or block, the other competitor will have the chance to win. Begin! The demo team isn't just about technique, it's also about style. You can do it! You got this, Lila! We have a crack, but not full breakage. Thanks for the opportunity, Grandmaster. I'm sure Bella will be a great addition to the team. Not so fast, Draper. The tryouts aren't over yet. Bigowski, let's see this head chop I've heard so much about. All right, Big. You got this. I can't do it. I don't want to get hurt. What is going on, Bigowski? Uh, nothing. It's just that I have to go, my... Not so fast, Bigowski. It appears I must use the most powerful kapow move of all. The glare of truth. I've never had chopped a real granite slab. I was just pretending to and someone saw me and told everyone that I could. So now I'm lying to myself and others because I'm too embarrassed to tell everyone the truth. I thank you for your confession. However, you did cheat. So, denied. <laughs> Congratulations, Draper! Welcome to the team! What are those? Trinkets of some sort? They're my good luck charms. Making the Kerpow team and getting a stylish new uniform? I couldn't be happier. But what is it? What's wrong, Lila? 
I'm gonna be traveling so much with the team, I'm gonna miss you two. And how am I gonna do it without my good luck charms to boost me? I have an idea. Begin! Class, order, family, genus, species. Okay. Kingdom, queendom, princessdom. Whoa! Watch it, Polly. Gotta keep your eyes open when Bonita's around. Sorry, Bon Bon. But how am I supposed to remember this? Ooh, try this mnemonic. Kind people can often find good spaghetti. Of course, Shawnee had the answer. Oh, that mnemonic gave me a snack attack. BRB, Smarty Pants Tutor. Next on the test is invertebrates. Invertebrates, like the snail that used to use this shell as its home. The snack tray needs another hand. Coming, Lila. Food mnemonics are always distracting during study sessions. didn't break it. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Well, it's only a shell. I'm sure Lila will understand. Next up, Snack City. Shawnee, that look is, um, new. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'd never be sorry for a spontaneous makeover. That eyeshadow is a yes. And you found my super special shell from the best day at the beach ever. <sighs> it was the time Nana and Pops visited. We saw a quadruple rainbow and a pot of dolphins swim through a purple-orange sunset. Pass it over. Um, can I hold it just a bit longer? Trust me, I get it. Whenever I'm feeling down, I always hug it. I think of Nana, Pops, and all those rainbows. Okay! <laughs> Polly and I really have to go to the beach. Immediately. Now, what? We're going where? <gasps> oh, I want to go too. No, um, you can't come because uh, we're riding horses. Yeah, and you don't like horses. What? I probably love horses more than the beach. Come on, we'll all go. Bye, Bonita. Be right there. <laughs> don't you go moving on me until I find your replacement. I want this one. Ooh, I mean, I want this one. Ah, I want both. You're acting a bit, I don't know, super duper weirdo. What's going on? Nothing. Everything. I totally broke Lila's super special conch shell, and then I didn't know what to do. I just want to find a shell that looks like Lila's and replace it. I panicked. But beaches have shells, right? Look around. We're at a beach. Hmm. Plan seems complicated, even by my standards. You think it's good? Better be, otherwise Lila will never talk to me again. The best place to find conch shells are just up the shore at Crystal Cove. They get washed up by the high tides and stuck in the caves. Well, you are the smartest person I know, so I'm totally in. Operation Shell Switch is a go. We'll take these three, Blue, Wanda, and Turbo. All right, keep your eye on the water. You do not want to get stuck out there when high tide rolls in. Oh, and don't get turbo wet. Freaks them right out. Now, giddy up. Mm, high tide, don't water the horses. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wait, what'd she say? She said giddy up. Let's go. Hi-ho, turbo, away! Or we can just walk, but keep our eyes peeled for. Sea turtle? Better flip you over, little buddy. What's Shawnee doing back there? <laughs> you know Shawnee. Uh, probably counting the grains of sand for one of her theories on, uh, math stuff? <laughs> Totes. That's so Shawnee. She needs an answer for everything. Yeah. <sighs> Look, Turbo. You're almost as fast as a turtle. Shawnee, you finally made it! Ready to hit the Crystal Cove Caves? Well, I was doing some thinking on my slow and laborious walk, and technically caves are not the best place for horses. They hate caves. So, 
Someone has to stay with them out here while we get a few cool pictures. And I vote our number one horse lover stay with them, Lila! Polly, let's go. K photo time. Okay, but how am I supposed to handle all three? Uh, Polly can pocket size them. Okay. Tiny Power Horsey! <laughs> Just when I thought they couldn't get any cuter! <laughs> Come on, Polly! Hey, what was that thing the rental lady said about the tides? Isn't that happening soon or something? Shawnee would have said something if it was an issue. Back to pony time! <laughs> the crystal caves are the most likely place to find a conch shell. These crystals look just like magical unicorn horns. Shawnee, why are they called unicorns when they're unihorn? Is it because they look like a long corn on the cob? Uh, Shawnee? No time for corn, Polly. Gotta focus. I think I see shells back there, but we need to go pocket size to get to them. Tiny power! Flawless. Now Lila will have no logical reason to hate me. Can you shrink it down? Tiny power shell! Yeah. Uh, no! My friendship saving shell! No! The high tide! Ah! It's too small in here to go big. We have to swim out. Yeah. The current took the shell away. Now I'll never get it. What do we do, Shawnee? Oh, I know this one. There's a spider that uses air bubbles from other organisms as air tanks so it can breathe underwater. If we go nano-sized, we could do it too. That's my smarty pants. Tiny power! <gasps> Breathing feels good. Seahorses, over here! Listen, we're in a bit of a bind. Can you help us out? Again. <gasps> Sweet air! Time to go big! Thank you, little seahorse friends. Horse horses. Wanda? Blue? Wait, where's Turbo? Get back here! <laughs> Help! Riptide! What happened? Oh, Turbo got all wet and went all turbo. I tried to go after him, but the current's too strong. Shawnee, you know all about the ocean. What do we do? I don't have the answer, which makes me the worst friend ever. What? You're not a bad friend just because you don't know what to do. But I'm the worst friend for other reasons, too. Oh, Lila, I really have to tell you something. I accidentally broke your special shell, and I wanted to find a new one to replace it, and that's why we're here. And I did, but then I lost that one, too, and then we almost drowned, and we went micro and swam with a bubble on our heads, and I just don't want you to hate me forever. I'm so, so, so sorry. Yeah, I'm going to need a moment to process that. Maybe let's get back to that combo later and focus on saving Turbo right now? I know the answer because Shawnee taught me. Kind people can often find good spaghetti. Pasta salad. Not spaghetti, but close enough. Hey, sea turtle, come get some yummy pasta. You can have the rest if you help us save that tiny horse. I know you two are having a moment, but we need to save that horse. Right. I'll finish processing later. Come on, Wanda and Blue! Tiny power! He's over there! Lila, I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I wanted you to think I had all the answers, that I was a smarty pants, not some shell breaker. I understand if you'd never want to talk to me again. What? You're my friend. Of course I'll talk to you. I was just thinking of the right thing to say. Don't worry about the shell, Shawnee. Those things are replaceable, but friendships are not. And there's nothing you could do to convince me that you're not a smarty pants. But that's not all you are. You're also a good friend pants, loyal leggings, and kindness clogs. 
You think I'm a whole outfit? Sorry to interrupt the friendship moment, but... A little help, please! If we hold each other, I can reach him, make him micro, and pull him up. Come on, Turbo! Stretch! <laughs> Tiny power! Turbo! <laughs> can you take us back to the beach, Mr. Turtle? Thanks for the ride, Chelonia Midas species of sea turtle. Wow, Polly, you remembered our study session. And though not the intention of the mnemonic, you still made it work. Yeah, I guess I don't always have to look to you for the answers, Shawnee. You taught me how to get the answers myself. I know it's not exactly like your other one, but maybe this new shell can remind you of the old one. Plus all the awesome things we did today. Yeah, we did have an amazing time with the horses and the sea turtle. Don't forget riding the seahorses. What? You rode seahorses without me? How dare you? 